Okay, so I am just testing a couple things. And I wanted to see how this is going to look if I do the color grading myself using a Sunlight D profile. What's Sunlight D? Oh, that's a good question. Alright, Sunlight D is a gamma curve. What the hell? It's a gamma curve. Contrast prior. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, what is sunlight D? Okay, so this video was taken from an iPhone, and you can notice the upper part's cut off and the bottom's barely in the lines and this one was taken from a DJ Osmo pocket with a Sunlight D and you can see that I have a lot more range to be able to change the colors and grade it. He has more details and shadows and highlights. Okay so what does a flat profile do for you? Um, so basically instead of allowing the camera to choose the colors and limit the, the amount of contrast and the amount of, uh, when they say highlights, the, the lighter area on, on the screen, it allows all the entire spectrum of light available to be used for the, well, for the video. When you put that into um, <clears throat> something like uh, 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 DaVinci, or FCPX, uh, Final Cut Pro 10. Um, what that allows you to do is use some of the built-in LUTs, which are the lookup tables for color profiles for different cameras, right? Or different looks. Um, it's basically what they use in Hollywood to make things look better. You'll see it on a lot of videos where people are using LUTs all the time to maintain like a consistency between their videos. The thing that's hard about LUTs is if you allow the camera to control the profile, then you're limiting yourself when it comes to those. So if, like on uh, GoPro where you can choose a flat profile, if you choose a flat profile, you still have to tweak it, you still have to do your color grading, but if you apply a LUT to it, you still have to do the color grading so that each shot that you have matches up, but it's consistent between shots. Um, the LUT allows you to um, kind of have the same color across the shots, but you still have to tweak it to make sure the lighting's the same, the white balance is the same, uh, the contrast is the same between the shots, and that's what makes the videos look good. So the way I set up my Final Cut Pro is I have like all my effects, pretty much default, all my effects and everything are down here. There's transitions, there's video effects, there's sound effects, things like that. Uh, the way the color grading works is if you click on your video here and you get the, the details tab which is this little settings um, show inspector up here you can pick color and then as you change this it's going to add a color um, section to your inspector that stuff you also have audio and visual visual effects down here at the bottom so if you've never used Final Cut Pro there's a very very short not so tutorial now, once I have uh, recorded or you know set the, the color profile for my video, I can come over here and do save effects and save presets. So anything that has a check mark on it, it will save that to the side over here if I've modified it, and I can name it. So the next time I come in, for instance, if I did my iPhone like this, I have iPhone Inside Ambient, which is one of my videos. You notice it doesn't match up with this very good because it wasn't uh, the color, color grading wasn't done with this particular camera that I set up so um, once I have it since I'm using the same shot the same lighting throughout this whole video I can easily just apply this to each thing I can select everything in the video and then apply it um, let's do a little color grading here so anyway I am going to get rid of my filter up here to the color grading section. Now the first thing I notice is 
you see this grain back here in the back it's because well it's shot inside and my lighting isn't great so I can actually change that bring the bring my blacks to, to where they're black and now my lights I can make the lights come up in the background too and there's still some grain back here but that's okay there's something you can do for that as well we're gonna apply a blur to the video so this is like a background blur that I did for a different video we're gonna go down here to our blurs and there's different ones so there's focus where it's gonna make basically make the center of the video uh, focused we can make the whole thing blurry Gaussian blur which is what, is what I'm going to use. We can sharpen the video, which is going to basically increase the graininess in the video. Um, and then there's this weird warping blur too, which I'm not going to use. So let's apply this blur, which is going to help with some of the grain in the video. Now you notice it's blurred out, like you can't see it at all. So what I'm going to do is pull this down just a little bit to where, well, a lot, to where now you can see me and you'll notice a lot of the graininess is gone that's because it's it's a little bit of an optical trick where it blurs out the grain in the video <clears throat> so now uh, saturation so the other thing is I can I can change the video saturation so that increases the color in the video so I can bump up the, the entire color I can pull down the entire like, entire color I can make it darker I can make it lighter um, if you double click these it resets them so basically that's my shadows this is my master that's the shadows that's the midtones and that's the highlights or you know the lighter area in the video so if I want more of the highlights I can pull up the highlights if I want more of the midtones which is the colors in between or the shading in between uh, my shadows and my highlights um, so just the normal areas here then I can do that also so the next thing I'm going to look at is color. So everything is right here in the middle. Um, I think the color is pretty good, but again, here's what we're looking at. So my shadows, um, normally you want your shadows more in the blue. So this is the reason I like Final Cut Pro, is I can pick shadows and then I can see where it sets on the color. So if I want to make, you know, more take out blue, or if I want to add more blue into the shadow, that effect. I can also take out my midtones, which makes it warmer, right? I'll put that back now if I want my highlights to be pulled out out of that color I can put that back too um, we can also make it more red so if I want it more of a reddish color so it's more of a skin tone I can do that and that is my highlights so um, let's look at that real quick So if we look at a color wheel, you're going to see something where uh, you'll, you'll hear teal and orange, where you have this teal color here and an orange color here. They're opposites, right? So your highlights should be the opposite of your shadows. So if your shadows are in this area and your highlights are in this area, then you're good. But if your shadows are here and your highlights are here, your video is going to look all blue. If you're highlights are here and your shadows are here your video is going to look more red or warm I never understood that before either but there's basic now I'm not a, <clears throat> a videographer or a filmmaker or anything like that I'm just a normal guy who picked this up as a hobby um, I'm still working on everything as you can tell from my videos they get a little they're getting a little bit better as time goes by but that's just like anything else it's just practice so if you practice at something, you become more proficient at it, right? So it's just like training a muscle. Um, you start to kind of get that over time. I've been doing this <clears throat> on YouTube now for about a year, and that's it. Like, I haven't done anything else. Uh, I haven't taken any classes. I've watched some other videos from uh, some other um, YouTubers on these kinds of things, but that's it. So... Hopefully I can continue to grow my knowledge and as I grow my knowledge I can make it a little bit easier for people to understand how this stuff works too. Um, I never knew uh, how you could use LUTs and this is my first video where I actually used a flat profile and um, see how this works.